Welcome to Bot Wars Week 2. So week one was a ton of fun. I'm glad that so many people were able to figure out that challenge. I'm glad that we saw some really fast times, faster than I'd expected on social media. So that was awesome. We're now into week two. And like I said before, these challenges are gonna get a little bit more challenging from here on out. So let's dive into week two and let's talk about exactly what we're gonna be getting into. So week two is all about supply chain. If you remember back to week one, we did a customer onboarding experience. This time is supply chain. Even if you don't work in an organization where you have supply chain needs or that's not something you do, this is still a fun challenge to complete because there's a lot of lessons that can be learned along the way. So for our background, the purchase order details are missing from the accounting and tracking system of record. For each provided PO number, we need to fill in the ship date, the order total, and the assigned agent. And I'm gonna show you how to get all those details here in a second. The ship to state for each PO is used to determine the assigned agent. So if you can see on the right hand side here, there's an assigned agent dropdown. We need to figure out who this is assigned to based on the state that the PO is shipping to, okay? A little bit complicated, I'll show you that here in a second. As far as our rules, your bot must log in to the Procurement Anywhere app as a part of the bot execution. So if you remember last time, our only rule was that you had to download the uh, Excel spread or the CSV file, I'm sorry, as a part of the bot execution. This time, you have to make sure that your bot is actually logging into the Procurement Anywhere as a part of its bot execution, okay? Let's take a look at these apps and I'll explain exactly how this works. I'm just gonna drag this over to my other screen here. So this is the, uh, the URL and the, the challenge page we're gonna be working with. Notice it's, uh, I'll put this URL in the description and text below, um, but it's our supply chain management exercise. So we have the, the same kind of rules listed here, but uh, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is log into this Procurement Anywhere web app. And we can see here that unlike what we had before, where it was like this rotating list of customers that we had to add, in this time we're provided with a list of PO numbers and then we have to fill all this data in for each PO and then hit submit. So in this case, you're only hitting submit once. If I refresh this, notice that I'm getting different PO numbers every single time. So I can't just like pre-program it for a certain set. Uh, I'm gonna get a new set of PO numbers every single time. Now, what do I do with that PO number? I'm gonna copy that real quick for an example. We're gonna to have to first log into this Procurement Anywhere web app. And so we'll have to fill in our username and password. Those details are provided right here. Here's the username, here's the password. So you're gonna to have to have your bot log into this app. Once you've logged in, you're gonna see a, a page that looks like this, right? And we've got pages and pages of purchase orders. So your bot will need to search for a specific purchase order, right? And then there's details related to that purchase order. Your bot wants to grab or should grab the state, the ship date, and the order total, right? Because those are the three values that we're talking about. Now, the ship date obviously goes here, the order total goes here, but the state we have another complication with. So with the state, for each of those, I need to grab the state and then look up to see who is the assigned agent based on this state assignment XLSX. Now, if you remember back to the first challenge, we did a CSV file. This time we're using an XLSX file. And again, the reason for that is we want you to get familiar with using different packages so that you're pretty familiar with the whole package set eventually. But uh, this one specifically is an XLSX file. Even if you don't have Microsoft Excel installed, you can still use the Excel basic package to be able to automate this, uh, this particular spreadsheet. So I'm gonna need to look up that state code and I don't know what our example was, but let's say it was North Carolina. So if it was North Carolina, then I need to find the person's name, which is Ryan Nices here, and then I would come back over here in my assigned agent list and choose that individual, right? And then I could go on to the next one. One other complication I wanna point out. It says, note, all order totals need to be submitted as numbers only, no dollar sign. So you'll have to make sure that you strip out the dollar sign before you fill in the order total value here, or at least when you're extracting it, don't extract the dollar sign, however you wanna do it, okay? So that's the exercise this time. It's gonna be kind of moving back and forth between multiple apps here. You're gonna to have to go to a login for another page and then do some lookups on that PO tracker, and then you have to come back to the purchase orders here to be able to fill out the details, as well as interface with that XLSX to look up data. Okay, so 
Just like last time, uh, we encourage you to share on social media. Our social team is gonna be looking for people who share their accomplishment. Hey, I finished it, it took this amount of time. Uh, be sure to tag our Automation Anywhere handle on LinkedIn and Twitter. Be sure to use the hashtags BotGames and RPA August uh, when you uh, put out your tweet or your LinkedIn post. And then also make sure to tag three other RPA developers who you also challenge to complete this exercise. This is a really fun way to make this kind of a gamification thing like we did last week where we want to see people who are, hey, posting really cool times, see what times you can come up with. Some people might also ask you for input on, you know, how you did your code or can you put a screenshot of your code? Do that. That's how you participate in a kind of global community of what we're trying to build here. Okay. Enjoy this challenge. Have fun with this one. It's a little bit more difficult. Like we did last week, I'll be back on Thursday to do a tutorial explaining exactly how we would suggest to solve this problem. Have fun with this challenge. Go be great.